Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really useful Apple Watch tips and tricks. These are tips and tricks that will let you do more with your Apple Watch as well as perform a lot of things and a lot of tasks faster and easier on your Apple Watch. So here is a list of my incredibly useful Apple Watch tips and tricks. The first trick has to do with phone calls. Now, when you receive a phone call, of course, it will show up here on your Apple Watch. Now, what you can do from here, so if you don't want to answer on the Apple Watch, you can just go ahead and tap on those dots right there. Now, from here, you can go ahead and choose to answer on the iPhone. So, if you have like your phone somewhere around the house and you don't want to like answer on the apple watch you can choose to answer on the phone now if you don't know where your phone is you will get this button once you tap answer on iphone you will get this button which allows you to ping the iphone right there so as you can see from here you can go ahead and just transfer the call to your iphone as well as ping your iphone in order to find it faster now when you're setting alarms on your Apple Watch, you might not know, but you can also snooze alarms. So if you just tap on one of the alarms, it will take you to this like edit page where you can edit your alarm. Of course, you can change the time, you can change the repeat and then the label as well. And then down here, you will have a button that says snooze. Now, if you want to enable snooze for your alarms, just like you have them on your iPhone, you can do that from here. There are some pretty cool like hidden tricks here within the iMessage app on the Apple Watch. Now, if you wanted to react to any of the messages, just double tap on it and it will show you this panel right here from where you can go ahead and react to any of those messages. You can also check out the timestamp, basically check when these messages have been sent or received. Simply swipe from the right to the left on any of the messages and as you can see right there on the right side, it will show the time when these messages have been sent and received. You probably know that there are like smart replies on iMessage with the Apple Watch. So you get a message, you can quickly reply using one of the smart replies that you get by default on your iMessage app. But did you know that you can actually add your own and actually edit those? So just go to your iPhone, go to the Apple Watch app, go to the messages and then from here you will basically go ahead and tap default replies and you will have all the smart replies right here which you can of course edit and then if you want to like add new ones all you gotta do is just tap here on add reply and you can create a reply this is one that i have created so basically you will have this on the list of smart replies you can also edit any of the other ones so you just want to remove one of them you can do that from here or you can basically just go ahead and rearrange them any way you like so when you go to your apple watch you will have first of all the ones that you need there at the top and of course you can have your own like custom ones that you have created from here on the apple watch if you tap the side button you will go to a list of recent apps that's basically like the app switcher on the iPhone. But did you know that you can basically turn that into a dock, just like you have a dock on your iPhone and have only your favorite apps show up there, not, not other apps. So what you have to do is go to your Apple Watch app on the iPhone and just tap on the dock and then you will have here two options for the dock. You have Recents, which basically is in like an app switcher and then you will have your favorites. Now, if you choose favorites, then you can use that as a dock containing only your favorite apps so what you got to do here just have the edit button and these are the apps that i currently have there i want to add one more tap right there i want to remove one of course i can tap remove or i can go ahead and just rearrange these apps and now you can see here if i just tap the side button it will take me to the dock where of course i have my favorite apps 
on the email app, you will have the option to flag emails directly on your app watch. So all you gotta do is just on any email, just open the email and force touch on it and you will have the option right here to go ahead and flag that email. Also, if I go back right here, you can see the mailboxes. You can actually edit those. So if you just scroll all the way down, you will get a button that says edit. And from here, you can edit your mailboxes. Basically, you can choose which mailbox you want to have there and which not. So this is the list, which of course you can go ahead and edit here. So you will have that check mark. You can choose there whether you want to have that mailbox on the list here or not. The next tip is how to reset your Apple Watch. So if for any reason you just want to reset your Apple Watch, have it go back to its default, like factory defaults, you want to completely reset it, of course you can do that and you don't have to use your iPhone, you can actually do that directly from your Apple Watch. Now what you have to do is just go to settings, go to general and then scroll all the way down here and you will find a button that says reset just go ahead and you will have here like two different options you can reset the home screen layout basically it will just reset everything on the home screen or you can erase all content and settings now what that will do is basically turn your apple watch to point zero it will completely reset your apple watch deleting everything on the apple watch if your apple watch is like not working well and it's like getting stuck somewhere or anything you can go ahead and force restart it just like you do on the iphone and force like reboot you can do the same on the apple watch now what you have to do is just tap and hold both the crown and the side button hold them for like five or six seconds something like that and it will actually go ahead and restart your apple watch so for any reason you cannot do something you go on an app and it doesn't want to go to the home screen or it's not like working well then you can go ahead and do this like forced restart as i said just tap and hold both the side button and the crown both at the same time for like five or six seconds now if you have your apple watch below 10 percent on battery you know that the apple like gives you an option here to enter a power reserve mode basically is a mode that will only like display the clock on the screen and will like last way longer than of course with the complete screen on but you can actually enter that mode even without going under 10 percent you can do that simply by swiping up going to the control center here just find the percentage of battery and tap on it it will open this page and here it will give you the option to go to the power reserve mode just swipe right there click proceed and now you're on power reserve mode this way your battery will last really really long so if you just plan like to go out for a long time and you just want to have your clock here you can do that using the power reserve mode so basically just go to the control center and then tap right there in order for the power reserve mode to be activated now once you have power reserve mode activated of course you also want to have the option to deactivate the power reserve mode now what you want to do here is just tap and hold the side button and just hold until you see the apple logo that way you will deactivate the power reserve mode and go back to the normal mode on your apple watch so just tap the side button tap and hold on it until you see the white apple logo and it will go back to the normal mode on the apple watch if you go to the apps here you will have this like normal view and you can also switch to a list view now if you're using the list view on your apple watch you might not know but you can delete apps simply by swiping on them like this so from the list just swipe from the right to the left and you will get this button which allows you to easily delete any of your apps and that's really really useful very convenient and very easy with the list view to find and delete any apps that you want Another really cool thing that you can do with the Apple Watch is just double tap on the crown to go to the last used app. But did you know that double tapping again, it will take you to the other last used app. So you can switch between, between your two last used apps simply by double tapping here on the crown of the Apple Watch.
so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you learned some new tricks and tips for your apple watch on this video so that basically don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one